GURPS Biotech is a GURPS, the generic universal role-playing game, sourcebook that covers the implementation of biotechnology in the game. The first edition of the book was written for GURPS 3rd edition, while the second edition of GURPS Biotech was written for GURPS 4th edition. Both editions of the game are primarily focused on providing supplemental rules, campaign material, and examples of the uses of biotechnology for the players and game master alike. The second edition contains two outlines for campaign settings Alexander Athanatos and Draconis but is primarily focused on providing rules and examples of devices that game masters could adapt for use in their own campaigns. GURPS, is a game where players and game masters can, and are encouraged to, create whatever characters and settings they choose. The GURPS Biotech sourcebook gives them a resource to use should they wish to incorporate elements of biotechnology into their games. The books contains rules and advice for creating a wide variety of possible characters, scenarios, storylines, and campaigns that are influenced by either real-world theories and practices of biotechnology, or the science fiction of advanced genetic alteration, enhancement, and augmentation. Topic. Author information The first edition of GURPS Biotech was written by David L. Pulver. The second edition was written by both Pulver and David Morgan Marr. David Pulver has written a number of books for GURPS in both its third and fourth editions. Morgan Marr is a regular contributor to Pyramid Magazine, Steve Jackson Games Online Game and Hobby Magazine, and has co-written several books for GURPS fourth edition. Topic. Content GURPS Biotech includes a detailed introduction into biotechnology, speaking about both its practices in a real-world sense, and its applications in science fiction and fantasy. In addition to new and supplemental rules for the game, the book goes into great detail discussing what the world would potentially be like if biotechnology were to continue to advance. Anti-aging treatments, human and non-human augmentation and enhancement, chemical warfare, cloning, and many other subjects are detailed, along with advice for game masters should they wish to implement such things into their games. Because GURPS is meant to be open-ended for the game master to develop their own setting, many possibilities are left open for their interpretation, such as potential social and political ramifications of these advancements. How does the general public react to extreme modification? What religious concerns does it bring up? How does humanity deal with the population increase caused by anti-aging treatments? GURPS Biotech leaves the answers to these questions up to the game masters, allowing them to weave such elements into their stories as much or as little as they desire. This is also the first fourth edition book to make significant changes to the page layout introduced with the fourth edition, most noticeably with a return to a two-column layout. Topic. Inspiration GURPS Biotech draws inspiration from a varied collection of sources. David Brin's Otherness John Varley's The Persistence of Vision H. G. Wells' The Island of Dr. Moreau Janine Benya's Biomimicry, Innovation Inspired by Nature Thomas Lee's Gene Future and many others. Topic. Publication history The first edition of GURPS Biotech was written by David Pulver, and published by Steve Jackson Games as a 144-page book. The first edition of GURPS Biotech was written in 1997, and published by Steve Jackson Games, the creators of GURPS, the Munchkin card game, and many others. A New GURPS Biotech 2006 was one of the tech books published for GURPS 4E. The second edition, published in 2006, was also produced by Steve Jackson Games. The first edition had two print runs, which the second edition is still on its first. Topic. Reception Joe Kushner reviewed the first GURPS Biotech in Shardy's number 48. Kushner comments, overall the book is very clear and easy to use. 
The majority of the text has comments by various individuals which make it easier to read. The art is all done by Dan Smith, so even if you don't like his art, it still has a uniform feel to it. Topic. Awards It was an Origins Award nominee as Best Role-Playing Game Supplement in 2007.